What? What is this energy today? I'm sorry, y'all. my eight-year-old self right now do you see these flyaways i don't even get why i embarrass myself like this but like hi from me and my flyaways pretty much i'm finishing up my morning just got done reading my book i've been trying to do 15 minutes or 20 minutes at whatever my mood is 15 to 20 minutes every morning my current read right now is the couple next door i just finished reading uh evelyn hugo's seven no 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 the seven husbands of he of evelyn hugo it was pretty good um i'll give it a seven out of ten though like i feel like people were gassing it like i don't like when books are i when i gotta wait to the very end for it to get really good like like the last few pages like give me something you know this one already has me in suspense from the beginning you know which i like so i think i'm more of a mystery thriller type person so if you guys got any books like that if y'all have some mystery thriller books look i was i was a nancy drew type of girl in elementary school so if you have those type of vibes let me know y'all we got a lot to do today we have a lot to do today and i didn't even expect to have a yes i did yes i did i'm lying but those plans were actually supposed to be canceled so i was supposed to go and do a photo shoot with a couple of other creators but me and ashley are still gonna go to this event later it's actually a um hennessy nba event yeah that sounds pretty big and ashley sent me some pictures of what the vibes are and it's looking kind of fancy so i don't know what i'm wearing yet we're, we're gonna figure that out later i'm actually about to go hit the gym this is my second workout day of the week so yeah i got a lot to do today because I, I have to finish this stuff today. But all right, let's get to it. you guys i'm not complaining okay because it just got nice in chicago literally i think it's over 80 degrees right now everybody was outside tanning well there were a few people outside tanning i saw a girl the other day tanning when it was like 70 degrees like she couldn't wait but yeah it's really hot and i just feel gross i don't want to sit on my couch because i just left the gym and we we're not letting anything nasty including me touch that couch I know I haven't said much about my couch. That's because I have a moving vlog that I'm working on right now. It's got the delivery, the breakdown of the couch, the the links, 
all of, all of that, okay? So we're gonna act like we don't see it. She's not here from, from here on until <laughs> the moving vlog. This will be the last moving vlog. There's a lot of stuff that I've gotten done in my apartment. As you guys can see, uh, with this big thing behind me, you've already seen the video by now of that. If you didn't, this is literally the last video I posted. Yeah, it's hot. And then the hallway, the hallway is hot. It stinks in there. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like I thought I was in a luxury apartment. Why is the hallway hot? And then it stinks because I'm pretty sure a dog peed on the floor. And I think this happened yesterday because I smelled it yesterday and I see the spot. I just know it's the dog that lives across from me. I know it's the dog because this dog is a menace, y'all. This is the only bad dog I have come across and he lives right across from me. Now I will say he does not bark a lot, but when he does bark, he goes in for at least a good solid two minutes. It's not every day, but I know it's him because number one, he's a menace. And then number two, you can kind of see like the direction where it looks like they started peeing and then they started trailing off. It's giving went this way and if he if the dog went this way i just know it's the dog across the hall for me but you guys i got a package i've got a big big package and i've been waiting on this package because when i open this package this spot right here and this spot right here on my shelf is going to be filled you guys i've told you that i don't have a ton of heels i just started wearing heels because i just started doing things in life that require not require but are better to have like heels and stuff um, so yeah, I ordered four pairs of heels from Nine West, non-spawn, I wish. I'll link all of these below if they're cute, if they work out. We got these little white mules. I don't feel like trying any of these on, I'm just gonna show you guys. So they tie up. These are so cute, they're very spring. They have a short heel, so you know, not doing too much, very strappy. I wish I could get my toes done. I probably can, but it'll just have to be nude. So. If you guys didn't hear, we're doing the little diamond, diamante, whatever you want to call it, the New Year's aesthetic. We're doing it all year. They're like bedazzled mules, but also what's really cute about them is they have these little silver heels on them. Is that not super duper cute? Like, this is giving, I need to have white toes. And I, mm, ugh, I may just go paint my toes anyways, or go get them done and then just make whoever I work with deal with it so cute i love these okay two out of two okay we're gonna save the this box for last because those are probably my favorite okay so these next ones you're gonna be like jordan that's kind of the same thing that you just showed us but it's not okay you gotta have variations these are cute too so i got some all metallic mules the heels are metallic as well, which I love. These are so cute. Like, I'm sorry that I keep saying that, but I'm obsessed. And all of these shoes were so, so affordable, which is why I bought four. Like, they were having a mad sale, which I think they just constantly have that sale. Okay, these next ones, you're gonna see a pattern here, okay? You guys know I really do like neutral colors. So first of all, I don't have any colorful heels here. You're looking for that. I'm scared, these look kind of big. Okay, so when I say they look big, I'm talking about the calf muscle. I don't have calf muscles, y'all. But they're very soft. The heel is cute too. I've been looking for nothing but shoes with heels like this because they're just easier to walk in. These are cute, please fit. I'm about, I'm about to try them on my workout clothes, okay? Don't judge me. Stay calling, I ain't calling, but. Um, excuse me. These, dang it. Okay. Yo, these are so cute. I felt like Mary J. Blige in these shoes. Like, these is giving Mary. It's giving the queen of R and B. But the price of these shoes and how they look. Oh, honey. You can't beat it. It's giving sexy Tin Man. Yes, sir. Right there, okay. Right, Miss Pro. Like, I got an ice pack on right there with me. Ooh.
500 shots in VIP. Uh, I'm that nigga. Uh, uh. So I literally just got off this couch. I've been editing. I've been emailing. I've been scheduling. I've been doing a lot. And tomorrow I have to be in Milwaukee for a modeling gig. So I actually had to. What's in my hair? I had to um, email my management and basically see if they could get one of my uh, collabs pushed back like as far as um, when I got to deliver the content for review because I just actually do not have time to handle that because it's due Sunday and because of modeling I won't be here Thursday or Friday and they just got the item to me yesterday and I've been busy all week like y'all remember that campaign that I sent I mean not sent but that campaign that I shot and I was like it's 30 degrees outside and I'm wearing a bra and a blazer I had to refilm the content uh, pretty much what happened was apparently I was wearing the wrong product they didn't want me to shoot in that product even though they sent me that product I didn't know I thought I had a choice I mean I don't know it was honestly an honest mistake like not trying to give away the blame but it was like honestly in that particular situation a very honest mistake on my behalf but I wasn't mad about it I just redid it so yeah I'm probably gonna have to come home after this event and finish editing this YouTube video because it's got to drop tomorrow so yeah I'm just busy 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 sorry to wave this cheese but I'm busy 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 but I'm not complaining it's better to be busy and pay than you know not busy and broke <laughs> so but yeah it is it's it's a job doing both to be honest uh, a lot of people I think they think that my main job is modeling I don't know why people think that um, it's kind of like my side gig you know like I use it to buy me extra nice things but content creating pays all my bills um yeah I need to get ready for this event I don't even know what I'm wearing last time you saw me my hair was in a little ponytail I managed to do it I did try out a new product. I think it was, I forgot the name of it. I'll show you guys. Sorry if you can hear the toilet. I just peed. This is the product that I use. It's called Function of Beauty. They sent me like this huge package like over a month ago and I'm just now trying it out. A lot of people told me not to use it because <laughs> somebody said that they saw on the internet that somebody said their hair was falling out or something from it. I take things with a grain of salt to be honest when people say certain things about certain products i personally am a believer that um you just gotta see for yourself because people also said the same thing about diva curl and um i'm not saying this because i'm technically a diva curl well i wouldn't say i'm a diva curl ambassador they just like i'm on their pr list i'm not saying this because i'm on their pr list like they don't pay me to be on a pr list but like it personally never made my hair fall out and i used it pretty consistently they're gonna doll y'all hear it that's the little mischievous dog across the way he'll stop in about two minutes yeah that's the product that i used it actually got my curls kind of popping because i've been seeing things like where influencers will try something out and i get i get it okay influencers be lying like i get it there's some of us that really give influencing a bad name there'll be like makeup things or skincare things that are going around the internet people are like oh yeah like you gotta have this da, 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 da. and then somebody will come on the internet and be like influencers be lying this didn't even work for me it didn't work for you a keyword for you okay there's things that people love that i don't like it works for them there's things that i love that other people don't like okay because i have a friend she was talking about this nars foundation now one thing i will say i don't like about it the transfer on it goes crazy but let me tell you it looks so good on my face but yeah she was saying she absolutely hated it i can't relate i really like it so that's all i'm saying is just because you see one person say something whether it's they like it or they don't like it sometimes if you really want to try it you just gotta try it for yourself because every product ain't for everybody they can say what they want to oh for every skin type for every hair type so just because one person says they like it and you don't like it that don't mean they were lying they probably liked it for them sometimes they could be lying but you know give people the benefit of the doubt dang okay that's all i'm saying i don't know what kind of mood i'm in right now <laughs> why am i cutting up like this today like i really shouldn't go to this event but i really need to um i know that sounds kind of crazy but let me tell you let me tell you how this thing works because 
because a lot of people do like DM me personally and message me and stuff and they tell me all the time like you know you really inspire me or like you know you I don't know but basically they like me talking about my journey and showing you guys everything because it just makes it that much more real for you guys you know because I you know once looked at people and I'm like oh my gosh like they're doing that I want to do that too now I feel like I'm getting into that position where I am probably that for people but that is why I like to talk to you guys a lot and actually tell you but what I'm trying to get at here is I know that it looks like you know events are like oh just play play oh it's fun and they are fun but they are definitely not play play like so when I'm saying that I really need to go it's not because like oh I need to have fun I need to get out no I need to get my name on all these lists like me going to this NBA Hennessy event it's gonna have my name on a list and if they have other events nine times out of ten they're going to send you the invite every time they have these events and that gives you a higher chance of getting paid to show up to events now I'm not gonna say all events do this but I definitely have been offered money to come to an event day. So it's important for people in this field to show face because it's going to get you invited more places. But most importantly, you could get paid for going these place, to these places. So yeah, I got to show up to these things because obviously I'm new. I don't have a reputation in Chicago yet. So um, yeah, I got to show face. I got to make people familiar with me. So it's not all like, oh. It's time to go party. It's time to be cute. It's time to be an influencer. No, baby. Uh, we trying to get on the list so we can get to the bag. That's all I'm saying. What? What is this energy today? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm acting up. But I will hit you guys when I'm ready. I feel like she's pretty cute. Alright, let's go. Y'all. Well, don't laugh at me and my friend, but the event that we thought was today is in June, bruh. It's in freaking June. Which I'm not even upset because I wanted to step way harder than this anyways, so it's not a big deal. But pretty much, it's about 6.30 right now. I'm coming back home. And I'm going to finish some editing. I'm going to eat a little sandwich or something like that. Eat. Well, I may just eat dinner since I'm, since I'm home. I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to finish up on some editing. And we're going to go to something else that starts at 9. So that is the one good thing about... Well, not one good thing. There's many good things about Chicago. But that is one good thing about today. Even though we were dead wrong about the day of um, this event. There's still somewhere else we can go. Look, my makeup is already done, so we're we're good. We are good. So yeah, I'm just about to head back home. But I just thought that y'all would think that that was funny or whatever. That I went and got dressed. Well, we went and got dressed for a whole event, sitting here rushing and whatnot. And the event is next month. So. I don't want any me talk I was saying I was gonna go home work on some work and then go back out to utilize the makeup that I did and go to this um, party that somebody was hosting I did not go <laughs> I took one look in the mirror I looked at the makeup I did for no reason and I was like I'm gonna just take the L cuz I got too much work to do I was literally up till like 
I don't even know, like 2 a.m. Trying to edit my video, upload my video, prepare everything for today to drive down to Milwaukee. I don't know if it's down to Milwaukee or up to Milwaukee, but it took me over two and a half hours to get here. I think the shortest amount of time it's ever taken me is hour and 50 minutes because I work, I've been working constantly up here for modeling and then the traffic was terrible. Finally done for the day though. It's like two o'clock, so that's not bad at all. I still got a lot of time. About to check on my YouTube video, see if I can edit the thumbnail for it, upload it for you guys to watch. And then, I'm probably, I don't know if I wanna take a nap, find something to eat, or go to the mall. There's literally a mall across the street. I don't need anything, I'm just bored. I almost said good morning. <laughs> I just took a nap. We're getting ready to go to the mall. Most importantly, we're getting ready to go to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I'm a sucker for Cheesecake Factory. I don't care. Call me basic. Call me basic, but their little penne pasta. She's my girl. And look where it is. I'm in my hotel room. Her. record anything because literally there was really nothing to record one thing i must say though this may sound a little ignorant but i'm a little ignorant <laughs> i didn't know there were so many black people in wisconsin because i was not feeling the contents i was excited because i like nordstrom but i went in nordstrom and i was like this is not the nordstrom i know and love it wasn't even as good as atlanta nordstrom the most fun i had at the mall was um, going to Barnes and Noble. I did find a couple of books at Barnes and Noble. Fun fact about me, I've always been a book nerd, a bookworm, whatever that phrase is. Let me tell you how much of a bookworm I've always been. So I've always played soccer like my whole life except for now. But like since I was little through like high school, we had this little deal, me and my parents. Little, little story time. We had this little deal um, that anytime I'd score a goal, I would get a book per goal and you know that was cool and all i'd get like if i scored three goals i get three books until one day i scored six and they got me guess how many i don't even think they got me three i think they got me two and i was just like this is not the deal that we had but that's how much i liked books like i would i would accept books as a reward i don't think i was back into reading that heavy in college i was always so busy and then when i started teaching i was still so busy but since i've like became like my own boss and entrepreneur i've been heavy into reading again which i love i'm so grateful for that so the first book that i got is a heart so fierce and broken it's a it's a little bit of a, a fairy tale-ish book the reason i got it is because i read the first one it's called a curse so dark and lonely and it's basically a retelling kind of of <laughs> i sound so lame but anyways, it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but like adult, like kind of. But yeah, it's pretty good actually. And so the next book that I got after that, I think it's called Scythe. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But um, I'll just read this. It says, Thou Shall Kill. I saw this book somewhere recommended. I don't know if it was book talk or what. Which by the way, don't listen to book talk all the time because they will steer you wrong found this book somewhere and saw people recommending it and so when I saw it I recognized it and I was like oh let's um see what this is talking about but pretty much the gist of the book it's super far into the future and basically it's not possible to die from natural causes anymore like how people die of old age or people die of heart disease things like that 
you cannot die that way. So the only way you could die is if, I think these are called scythes, if a scythe kills you. So they seek out to kill certain people, to eliminate certain people from the planet. So that sounds good to me. I love stuff like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my Cheesecake Factory. It's probably cold, but um, it's whatever. Got me a Caesar salad. Oh, I know it's cold, I'm sad. This is that pasta I was telling you guys about that I'm crazy about from Cheesecake Factory. But yeah, it's four cheese pasta. It's absolutely amazing and it would be a lot better if it was hot. I'm about to veg out just for a little bit and then I'm going to get into editing. Probably go ahead and start editing this vlog. All right. Good afternoon, you guys. So, oh, I just know I just got makeup on that. I just finished with my final job up here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We finished up much earlier than I thought, and I was actually getting paid for a full day. We really finished like after half a day, so that's pretty cool. And I literally came in at 10:30 a.m., so I only stayed until what time is it now? It's 12:43. So that is absolutely amazing. But what's even more amazing is uh, my management basically got in contact with a, another company up here in Milwaukee while I'm up here. And so I'm getting ready to go meet with them, I guess, just to like introduce myself, you know, get my name out there and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really good. You know, networking is important. I'll probably see you guys afterwards. Dead or alive, feeling it in all night. Catching the vibe, I know. It's so hot. Look at my tulips. I come back, and these are my tulips. Y'all, I'm so, so, so exhausted. My forehead is extremely shiny. I'm just tired. It's been a week full of, you know, waking up early to do my side hustle work and then all the way into the night of like working on my actual main job. I'm getting ready to go take a nap. And it'll probably be a late night again tonight because I need to edit. This time last year was just polar opposite to like how this time this year right now is going. Like things, things are looking good and they are looking up even more. You know, last year, it was, it was kind of a tough time. You know, I was not where I wanted to be at and now, I wouldn't say I'm exactly where I want to be because I have high goals and high expectations for myself but I'm in a great place right now I'll say that I'm gonna catch y'all later on this week thank you so much for watching hopefully it was interesting I know I was kind of all over the place and things were unexpected and then I had plans and then I didn't have plans so I apologize for that <laughs> But alright y'all, I will see you in the next video.